How to fix the Apple Studio Display audio issue. This comes directly from Apple Mac and Crap's official support website. And you can look up this article. It's HT213110. So I'm going to go over how you can fix this Apple Studio Display audio issue. All you have to do is install this firmware. You want to install the top one at the time of this video creation. It's listed at the top. You want to install Studio Display Firmware Update Version 15.5 and then 19F80. 19F80, you want this specific one, and it even stipulates it will resolve an audio issue with Studio Display. I think there's it cuts out, it's intermittent, it's just a typical pain in the Apple Mac and Crap derriere, you know what I'm saying? Now you must have Apple Macintosh operating system Monterey version 12.4 or newer. I think 12.5 is the current newest version of Apple Mac and Crap operating system Monterey. And then in overtime I will quickly go over how you can upgrade your operating system if you have to. Now what you might want to do is check to see what firmware version you have installed. And I thought, let me see, where was that at? I thought there was instruction. Oh, here it is right here. Now, in order to check your current firmware version that's installed for your studio display, you would click on the Apple menu. It's at the top. It even has a little Apple icon. And then choose About This Mac. And then you would choose System Report and then you will select graphics and displays and then look for studio display and then in that section it will list next to display firmware version and then you want to make sure that you have if you already have 19 f80 the most well at as of the time of this video creation you would have the the proper firmware if you have 19 F77 or prior, then you want to install the firmware. Now I'm going to actually go through the quick instructions on how to update your studio display by installing a newer firmware. Now this stipulates in order to update your Apple Studio display, you will need Macintosh operating system 12.3 or later. But in order to install the firmware that you need, you need Macintosh Operating System Monitor A 12.4 or newer. Whatever. Okay. Now what you'll do is you'll go into the Apple menu again. It's at the top. Look for the Apple icon. And then you will this time select System Preferences. And then in that System Preferences window, you will want to choose Software Update. Then that firmware update should become available as long as you have I would say Monterey 12.4 or newer alright just look for the firmware update and then you would choose update now it will download the firmware and then it will install you'll have to click on restart and then your Macintosh will restart obviously and that should install this firmware update 19F80 and it should fix the studio display problem now anytime you update don't mess around don't touch your computer and then especially do not disconnect your studio display because it, it needs to detect the display in order to install the update you may see a progress indicator and then you may see a warning sign telling you not to disconnect the do studio display or you also may see oh, <laughs> this is a great one this oh, you know this is right there with Microsoft it may show you a blank screen oh oh well just you just don't get emotional don't turn into a metrosexual 
and and just be patient. Oh, you should see some kind of indicator. You know what I'm saying? And then it will ask you to restart your Apple Mac and crap. All right? Now, that is how you fix your Apple Studio Display Audio issue. Now, I'm not guaranteeing anything. I don't give out advice, but I'm just telling you, according to Apple Mac and crap support, this latest firmware update, 19F80, is supposed to fix the audio issues. All right? This is overtime now. Now, if you need to update your Apple Mac and crap operating system, quickly, I should be able to fit this in. You will go into software update. So again, choose the Apple menu from at the top. Click on the Apple icon. Then this time you're going to select system preferences again. Now in that system preferences window, you want to select software update and look for an upgrade now. Now up, uh, it's not update. That's different. There may be other updates. Here, here's a tip. I'll give you a tip. When you go to upgrade your Apple Mac and crap operating system using the Apple, you know, update, upgrade. If there are updates, uh, my, I don't recommend, I'm, I don't give out advice, but I'm going to give you a tip as a real world computer technician. You might want to install any updates first. Do it, just install them first. If there's any updates available, go ahead and install them. Restart your Macintosh, if, you know, might be a good idea. And then check your Apple updates again and then upgrade. That's a tip that I've used on MicroCrap, MicroSlop, Windblows operating systems. You know what I'm saying? Now upgrade your operating system. Once in a while, there's a you can run into problems where you don't. install the most latest updates for your operating system you just go ahead and do an upgrade and then all of a sudden you might have problems because you know what I'm saying so I've learned to just install any updates then when there are no more updates available go ahead and then upgrade the operating system alright so you're gonna wanna look for Monterey now according to this Apple table okay I'll, I'll just segue here now, if you do not know what version of Mac operating system you have installed, here's how to do it. Go into the Apple menu again, click on the Apple icon with a bite taken out. I wouldn't mind taking a bite out of Apple Corporation. I mean, oh, well, I could I could just talk about taking a bite out of Google, taking a bite out of WeCensor YouTube, taking a bite out of all of these technology crooked, corrupt corporations I mean oh oh that's right we censor YouTube they don't like that kind of, they don't like free speech okay this will tell you what the your operating system is all right what operating system installed it'll look similar to this you may not have Monterey now here's another tip if you do have Monterey but it's an older version like 12.01 or 12.3 or 12.4 upgrade to the latest available you know what I'm saying or you may have a prior version of operating system. You may have Big Sur 11.68, Catalina 10.15.7, Mojave 10.14.6, High Sierra 10.13.6, Sierra 10.12.6, El Capitan 11.6, Yosemite 10.10.5, Mavericks 10.9.5, Mountain Lion 10.8.5, Lion 10.7.5, Snow Leopard 10.6.8, Leopard 10.5.8, Tiger 10.4.11, Panzer 10.3.9, Jaguar 10.2.8, Puma 10.1.5, and Cheetah 10.0.0.4. Okay. So that's how you can find out what operating system you, your Macintosh has installed. All right. And then you can go to this article, HT201260. You can go to this article, HT201.541. And then you're going to, uh, remember, upgrade now. We'll upgrade a new operating system version, and it will only detect, it's supposed to only detect those that are compatible. If you cannot upgrade, I would say to at least 12.4. Down here it says 12.3, but I think you probably you could you could try it. You could try to you know 
upgrade to 12.3 or 12.3 is already installed then go ahead and try to install the 19f80 firmware if it won't install you should get a warning and then that's where you would upgrade to Monterey 12.4 and you go and use Apple updates if not try to get it to 12.5 you know what I'm saying and then you should be good to go you know what I'm saying how to fix Apple Studio Display issue, Audio Show. Well, here's a tip. What you could do is you could quit using Apple computers. <laughs> ah, adios. Yeah.